Alright, now we will be looking at the rhetorical strategy of logos or logical argument. So, there's two types of reasoning that you can do. The first is inductive, the second is deductive. Inductive is basically you provide specific evidence and then make a general conclusion. Well, deductive is you have a general idea and then you come up with a specific um, support that could come with that could provide you with the argument all right so now let's look at the inductive um, example um, how do we come up with reasoning okay so first you have the specific um, details where you know that okay my car is actually very slow it is stopping and stalling at uh, stop at traffic lights so you know that okay my car needs servicing that is inductive. You have general idea and then you come up with the, um, sorry, specific ideas and then you come up with the general conclusion. While deductive is basically you have a general idea. Okay, cars need to be serviced for six months. Okay, so you see that, uh, then you come up with specific details where you see that, um, okay, my car is stopping at stoplight. It is, it is being very very slow so all of these are specific evidence that tells you that oh, okay i i did not service my car it's already six months i need to go and service my car so that is deductive reasoning all right so that's the difference between inductive and deductive now that is reasoning now how do we form argument so we have claim support and warrant claim is what you say about something a point and then you provide support based on your research. And then you have Warren to link the claim and support. So, so this is what happened. Okay, so let's look at the example. You have a thesis. So your thesis will always be also your claim. Okay, so the claim here is Microsoft and Apple should consider providing operating system to student enrolled in college for free. Okay, any student. So your support would be why. Why did I make this claim? Alright, so you provide benefit for students based on research. You provide benefit for the companies based on research. And then your warrant would be, so what? So what? The so what? So you will link the claim and the support would say that. So, companies should consider providing the operating system because it benefits both sides, student and the company. So, that is warrant. Alright, okay. So, that is how you come up with the argument. Alright, and then there's type and test of argument. So, when you come up with arguments, you can come up, based on this claim, support and warrant, you can come form argument from sign. So, sign here means your support would be the signs. Okay, so you will have a claim that you tell to your friend that you ha you're having an allergic reaction. Your support will be the signs. What are the signs? You are having, you know, hives, you're having slap fever. So, the so what would be, because you have these two things, these two support, therefore, you have allergic reaction. Alright, so that is arguing from sign. Now, next is arguing from example. So, again, your support would be, your, you would have a claim, but your support would be from example. So, you are claiming that Juanita is an electable president. So, your support will provide support why... Um, in terms of example, why is Joanita can be president, okay? So, you have support A, B, C in a form of example. And then, you have the so what. Based on the example, you know that Joanita is a good president to be elected, alright? And then, next is arguing from analogy, where you have, anal you use your support as an analogy. So, you have claim. So, your claim would be uh, the universe system is very complex. It must be created by someone of higher power. Okay. And then you have the support from an analogy. So you would say that, okay, the complex system is like a watch. Okay. So this complex system is might be like a watch. A watch is created by someone who is very competent, who, who knows everything. So, which means the warrant would be the universe is even more complicated. So, it must be created by someone who is of higher power. Okay? 
So that is, that is arguing from analogy. All right. Now, next is you are arguing from causes. All right. So your support will be the cause. So you have a claim home sale will increase. So your support would be um, the cause of why home sale has increased. And then your warrant would show that because of this, because of these causes, so it supports your claim that home sale will increase. Okay? So that is arguing or forming argument from different um, method. Okay? So now let's look at reasoning. Okay? So when you make reasoning, sometimes you will have errors when you come up with reasoning. So there are a few errors that, that would happen or fallacies that you need to avoid. Number one is hasty generalization. For example, you have a specific breed of dog, Akitas, who beat your friend, who, who attacked your friend, for example. Okay, so then you come up with a generalization that Akitas are very vicious dog. That is hasty generalization. Why? Because not necessarily um, because one type of this particular dog breed of dog actually attack your friend doesn't mean all of this breed of dog would actually be a vicious dog. Not necessary. So you are making a hasty generalization. Okay. False cause is when your support fails to relate to the claim. Okay. So for example, you say that our school violence is because um, there's a famous television show that is uh, being on viral, on hype. So it, it has a lot of violence. That's why school now has a lot of violence. Not necessarily because there can be other factors that causes violence in school. Okay, so it can be one of the factor. It doesn't mean that's the factor. That That's not the main reason. Okay, so this is false cause. You need to avoid false cause when you make reasoning. Next is either or. There's only two choices. Either this or that. Okay, either this or the other um, reason. Okay, so that is not um, a proper way of providing reasoning. You must have few support to show that um, this is why it supports my claim. Okay, but if you just give two alternative only, you are oversimplifying your reasoning. Okay, so it is also should be avoided. Straw man is when you weaken the opposing um, position. Okay, by misrepresenting it and we attack the weaker position. For example, here the advocates say that self-driving cars are natural ex extension of active safety and obviously something we should do. But when the person is being attacked, okay, the opponent, they attack in the weaker position. Attacking the weaker position. So, you say that um, you value only technology or people's job. You see, it is misrepresenting the point. Alright? So, you attack something that is misrepresenting. Alright? Um, switching to self-driving car will, endang will endanger the job in transportation. Alright? So, the position might be correct. Both points might be correct. But the opponent is attacking the wrong side, the weaker position. Not the main part or main argument that the advocate is actually trying to say, trying to mention, all right? So, this is straw man. And finally, we have ad homonym. Ad homonym means that you attack the person's character, person's... It, it, it is attacking or praising the person making the argument rather than the argument. You're attacking the person instead of the argument itself. So, for example, if the person is talking about uh, vegetarianism, but the person is actually not a vegetarian, so you argue about the person. You are saying that, how can you argue your case about vegetarianism when you are actually enjoying steak? So, that is wrong. You cannot do that. That is wrong way of argument. Okay, so these are some reasoning that you need to avoid. Ad homonym is one way to actually... Um, avoid okay because like for example here 
you sh you are attacking the person instead of the argument that is being discussed, which is the vegetarianism. Instead of instead you argue you argue the person, the person who's argue, putting the point across. Okay, the speaker is uh, that's wrong. Okay, so this is about logic rhetoric of logos or logical argument. Next, we'll look at ethos and pathos.